What's up everybody? I know if you're doing the keto low carb thing, sometimes you kind of get burnt out on your uh, pork rinds and your cheese wisp and your celery and you just need to dip it in something. Well today we're going to make that dip. Today we're making buffalo chicken dip. Stick around, we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so for our ingredients, it's pretty simple. The recipe calls for a cup of Frank's hot sauce. You use whatever hot sauce you prefer. That says Frank's. It calls for a cup of uh, ranch. You can use whatever ranch you prefer. Um, and then also a cup of shredded cheddar. Um, I like spicy cheddar, so that's gonna be mine. Uh, also eight, nine ounces of chicken and a packet of um, cream cheese. Now this chicken, I smoked this up a little while back. Uh, I'll put a link to how I did that uh, in, in the description, but that is eight ounces of smoked chicken. So really, the only thing that's hard about this is measuring everything out. Next, we're just gonna put it all in a bowl, mix it up, and then put it in this dish. So let's do that now. And I got to thinking, this bowl might not be big enough. Let me go get a bigger bowl. So I've upgraded to the Super Duty Rubbermaid bowl. You probably have fancy mixing bowls at your house, but these do just fine for me. So let's mix all this stuff up. I'm gonna just throw it all in here. There goes the glorious smoked chicken. Mm. I can still, I can smell, it's been in the freezer, but man, it still smells like it just come off the smoker. Yes, awesome. Throw our cream cheese in there. Our ranch. Our hot sauce. I love hot stuff. I don't know. I guess I get it from my mom. Uh, when she was younger, she'd eat hot sauce, red peppers. My brother took the uh, one chip challenge, bless his heart. I'm not that crazy about hot sauce, but if you've ever took the one chip challenge, tell me how it went down in the comments below. <laughs> I like Spicy foods, but it has to taste good. It can't just be spice for the sake of being spicy. All right, so I got all this in the bowl. I'm just gonna dig in and do it the old fashioned way. Using the utensils that I was born with. And while this is happening, I've got an oven in there. It's preheating to 350 degrees. And uh, pretty much just get this stuff incorporated really well. Mama said, don't play with your food. I guess this is the exception. Kind of like when you was a kid and was making mud pies. Y'all don't know anything about that, but yeah, some of you do. And if you're doing the keto thing, like I said, sometimes it's just, you're running out of ideas on things to try and you eating your celery and your pork rinds or your cheesy crisp cheese that you put in the air fryer, whatever, and you just want something to dip it in. I like dipping stuff in pimento cheese, uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to trying this because to be honest, we all get burnt out, don't we? All right, that looks pretty good. Now, let me go get my hands cleaned up a little bit. All right, there's our mixture. My wife bailed me out and coming up in the door for me. I do all my filming back here in a different room because I don't want her to have to worry about what I'm doing. And plus I get some steps in, walking back and forth. So that looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna put it in an oven proof thing. I don't know what size this is. It's one of the good old wanker hocking things. It's uh, anyway, eight by eight, I think. I don't know, but anyway, find you a good dish you can put in the oven. And then we're just gonna Put this in there. Now 
and spread it out. Hmm, that looks looks nice. Spread it out a little bit there. I'm sure this will be good for a ball game, a party, you know, people that are actually eating potato chips. Uh, this would be perfect for that, but since I don't partake in the potato chips, I will pass. And I've got some uh, Cabot's Habanero cheese left over from another recipe. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top too because, hey, it's cheese and hot stuff. What can go wrong? So that's what it should look like. I'm gonna go put it in the oven for about 20 minutes it says and let it get done up and we're gonna dip some stuff in this. Well, here is our dip straight out of the oven. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit, scoop me some out and then find something to dip in it. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, friends, here is our buffalo dip. And I've made some Spam fries. These are Buffalo Spam fries. And what I'm going to do is try this out and see how it goes. How's that? So I'm going to dip it right in there. Hmm. My goodness gracious. That pushes all the right buttons. It's just enough spicy. And of course the Spam Buffalo Fries, man, they're good. <laughs> they're awesome too. So you don't have to have this, but this right here, get you some pork rinds and dip in there or some celery or something that you enjoy to snack on. Uh, for you Verta folks, this is a thumbs up for sure. And uh, hey, eat some dip. All right. Now we have something to dip our pork rinds in. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's real simple. It gives you some variety in what you're eating. And until next time, may the Lord bless you and eat well.